Hi and welcome to Camp Brood. Today we're going to show you how to make a 16 by 7 goal frame out of PVC. So the change for us is that our brood loves soccer so much that we did this. We're going to replace it with this. After a little research and design thought, we went to the local home improvement center and bought a lot of PVC. The notes will be a shopping list for you to make it easy and we'll talk through it here too. This build is difficult to communicate but is really easy to do. We use 3 inch for the side posts and 2 inch for the back support. We use 2 inch to reduce the weight and cost. Here's the materials list. Four, three inch PVC pipe, four, two inch PVC pipe, two, three inch by three inch by two inch PVC DWV, 90 degree, all hub elbow with side inlet. Two, three inch couplers. Two, three inch by three inch by two inch PVC DWV, all hub sanitary T. Two Y's, two inch, two two inch end caps, four two inch, 22 and a half inch elbows, two two inch T's, two two inch 90 degree elbows, one two inch coupler, container of PVC cement, a box of sheet metal screws, of course the net, and some rope. To begin, let's look at the build of the side post structure. You will see first a three inch by three inch by two inch PVC, DWV, 90 degree, all hub elbow with side inlet at the top. Connected to the is two inch PVC pipe connected to the two inch Y. Attached to the Y is an end cap and 22 and a half inch elbow using small two inch PVC pipe. Coming down from the elbow is two inch PVC pipe to another 22 and a half inch elbow. To finish, the back two inch PVC comes down from the 22 and a half inch elbow to a two inch T. Going left, the two inch PVC terminates at the three inch by three inch by two inch PVC DWV all hub sanitary T. The three inch PVC builds out the side post to complete the side post assembly. connect the side post assemblies to each other, we added a 2 inch 90 elbow connected to that 2 inch PVC on the ground with a coupler and at the top 3 inch PVC for the crossbar with a coupler. You can work through the goal any way you would like. I decided to compare the new construction with the damage goal and I thought it helpful to start with a 3 inch crossbar and side posts. I used a rubber mallet to dry fit all the pieces together. Some joints were really tight so I tried to use dish soap. That didn't work well so you may want to try other lubricants that won't bother the PVC cement. I'll go into some details on specific links but I found it was easier for me to work through the problem by measuring the fittings and then subtracting the sum of the fittings from 16 feet for example to build the crossbar. To measure the side post I took the fittings and subtracted from 7 feet. To begin, start with a 3 inch by 3 inch by 2 inch PVC DWV 90 degree all hub elbow with side inlet connected to the PVC top rail. Build out the top rail with a 3 inch coupler. I used the full 10 foot 3 inch PVC and seated the 3 inch coupler. The remainder of the top rail is 68 inches to get the outside dimension of the top rail with elbows at 198 inches or 16 and a half feet. So the inside dimension is about 16 feet. On the side post, measure from the bottom of the 3 inch by 3 inch by 2 inch PVC DWV all hub sanitary T fitting to the top of the elbow, outside dimension, and then measure where the 3 inch PVC is going to seat inside the elbow in the T. For me, that came to 77 and a half inches. Mark that with a Sharpie and cut with a reciprocating saw or other saw. I decided to use a coupler to do the other side post to save $18 and 3 inch PVC. I won't go into details here if you go this route make the post the same height as the first side post. Now with the top rail and side post ready, fit the whole front of the goal together. This is where it gets difficult on multiple hands and good work surfaces would really help. To build the bottom rail, 
back from the front of the goal, we switched to two inch PVC. The two inch PVC measured for me at 37 and a half inches. At the end of the bottom rail, at a two inch T, a little two inch PVC and a two inch 90 to provide connections to go up to the build the side post frame and to go across to build the two inch crossbar on the ground. The bottom rail is measured using the top rail, two inch pieces, which I measured from tip to tip at 196 inches. The elbows are three and a half inches of length. The 10 foot pipe with a two inch coupler is 120 and a half inches or so. So I ended up with 68 and a half inches for my cut piece. Remember, the back will be a little narrower from end to end as the two inch diameter PVC is a little less than the three inch PVC. Also, it doesn't have to be perfect as the goal is big enough to provide a little room for error. The top two inch PVC piece that comes back from the crossbar is measured to be 22 inches, including the Y 16 inches is just the two inch PVC cut. And then I put the Y and then I put the little spacer and a 22 and a half degree elbow. Um, also added the spacer and added the end cap later. Now I started at the bottom of the goal and worked up so that I know what my last piece, the middle diagonal section needs to be to finish the side post assembly. I cut the bottom post to 42 and a half inches in order to make the 22 and a half inch elbows come together well. Then the last piece I measured just by putting them together and that ended up being 34 inches and that completes the side assembly of the side post going back to the back of the post. Now we will do the same thing on the other side. We left the goal dry fitted and kids destroyed the goal. This loosened up all the fittings and I was able to put the goal back together with PVC cement a, little, a lot easier. Then I had them play with the goal a little more and a fitting was knocked loose by a ball hitting the side post. So I added the sheet metal screws and now it is durable and able to withstand strong kicks. I hope you find this tutorial and longer conversation useful in deciding and helping you build a goal out of PVC. Let us know if you have questions and how your project went. Please like this video and subscribe to follow Camp Brood as we share our experiences. Thank you and have a good day.